There's several methods that can be used to put radio collars on wolves. What's the name? This time of year we use aerial capture, which consists of locating the wolves with fixed wing aircraft, seeing if they're out in the open, available for capture. If they are, we call in a helicopter and we dart them, and then we have what we call muggers that uh, are flown in with, by the helicopter or access the wolves from the ground using snow machines and then they radio collar them, stay with the wolf till they're back on their feet and then we go on to the next pack. On September 30th of 2012, wolves were taken off the list of threatened and endangered species and as part of that, management was turned over to the state of Wyoming. Right all these frequencies down. We're really excited about taking over wolf management in Wyoming. We think we're the agency to do it. We have a lot of really high quality qualified personnel to do it. We have the resources scattered across the northwest corner of the state. The recovery plan calls for 10 breeding pairs and at least 100 wolves in each of the three states of Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming. So in order to monitor our wolf population in the northwest corner of the state, we are deploying some radio collars on wolves in certain packs. And that'll give us the ability to monitor their distribution, their reproduction. Definite fever. Any sort of mortality that may occur to radio collared individuals, as well as determine uh, uh, the number of wolves in the pack and the breeding pair status. Those are two pretty important metrics in order for us to be able to demonstrate we have a healthy, well-distributed wolf population in northwest Wyoming. A little bigger than a coyote, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the money right now is currently coming from uh, general appropriation funds from the, the Wyoming legislature and some game and fish money. As part of the monitoring process post delisting, the federal government has committed some funds. Ultimately, we'd like to reduce the collaring effort over time. It'll probably always be part of our, our management approach. But there are other techniques, such as track surveys, to help us determine the number and distribution of wolves in Wyoming. The recovery of wolves in northwest Wyoming has been a long process and Wyoming Game and Fish Department is totally committed to maintaining a healthy recovered wolf population for both consumptive and non-consumptive purposes. Mm -hmm.